Hey guys, I am proud to show you my seamless room transition. Uh, instead of using surfaces, I decided to use each room as a prefab. So let's have a look. This is the room that you start off in. And to the left of that is this room. When we play, we are walking between rooms. Room one into the room to the left and then into the room to the right. As soon as you go outside the view of that border, the other room is not loaded anymore. And also everything outside of you is deactivated. Have a look at my platformer as well. We can, there's just a notch missing on the side of the hitbox so you can actually grab the edges and you can go up and down ramps. There's a kind of like a hook. We basically had to make every object persistent it has a parent object so that we can control them all. Each room will basically say, ah, all the objects in this room is from here and they're going to be moved to where the room is. Under the control objects, it's just like the other tutorial where we define a grid of rooms, but in the step, is actually detecting if it's close enough to see the next room and it loads it in and also remembers whether it's loaded or not so that if you're not within its view it unloads it that's this bit here and then your view is locked inside the room unless it's the room you're moving into which then it just lets you move into that room so only two rooms can be loaded into at one time we also activate all the cold objects because room go to is actually going to delete them. Uh, so they're already activated, but they're going to be deactivated at the end of the step. So when objects are outside of the view, they get unloaded. And when the next room loads, there's two backdrops. Uh, here's a game using the same engine. Basically turns your game into one big world lets you walk in between rooms. Um, if you want an easier way to do this, you could take a screenshot of the room that you were just in and then slide it into the next room that you loaded. Otherwise, yeah, this is just walking between rooms. Uh, every object's persistent and it gets deleted when it's not needed anymore. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Have a good day.